Do you know what is darkness? You are not seeing the air, but if there is dust in the air, you can see it. You are not seeing something because of light, you are seeing something because something stops light. So that which stops light is what is in your perception. That which stops light is in a way anti-light, isn't it? Anti-light should be darkness, but it is not. Darkness doesn't care. It allows light to pass through, nothing happens. Light is powerless in darkness, please see. Only if there is something which stops the light, light is an effective force. If nothing stops it, if you ignore it, it means nothing. Do you know what is darkness? You do not know what is darkness. To some extent, you have a context for the light because you have never traveled with light. Nothing travels as fast as light. The European scientists who always been living with a wound in their hearts, that Einstein, an American, he came out with this theory that they cannot disprove. The European scientists came up with this thing that they found neutrinos which travel faster than light. And about five days ago, they came out or they admitted or somebody made them admit that there was a mistake in the measurement. Because of a power outage, they mismeasured the thing and they thought neutrinos are going faster than light, but nothing is going faster than light as far as we know right now. But darkness is going faster than light because darkness need not go anywhere. It's everywhere. Something that is everywhere at the same time is definitely faster than that which travels, isn't it? Something travels from here to here, fast. But something is here also and here also at the same time. It is definitely faster, isn't it? You don't know what is darkness. That which you cannot perceive is darkness. But there is no such thing as darkness. There is something called light but there is no such thing as darkness. All that you do not know is in the dark, isn't it? All that you cannot perceive is in the dark. If you turn off the lights in this hall, you cannot see what's in front of you, so you're in darkness. If you could see, you're not in darkness. How you saw, whether because we turned on a light from outside or you managed to see by yourself, still dar darkness would not exist. There are many creatures in the forest which are right now foraging around, hunting, waiting for dinner, having dinner, doing so many things, no electric lights. You ask a tiger, what is darkness? He says, where is darkness? There's no darkness for him. He sees well enough in the day, he sees well enough in the night. Do you think in his experience anything looks dark? Nothing is darkness because darkness never existed. That which is not in your perception is darkness. So, the whole process of spiritual process is just this. Right now, you are relevant. You as a life is relevant only because something stops you. Something stops you means your body stops you, your wife stops you, your husband stops you, your job stops you, things around you stop you. Because you're bouncing off all these things, your life is relevant. If we stripped you of all these things, it's irrelevant, isn't it? If you exist in that irrelevance, instead of living in reflected glory, if you learn to live in this irrelevance, suddenly you find there is something so phenomenal. You will see a boundless nature which doesn't need any context exists within you. So that we can call it darkness, we can call it Shiva, we can call it Brahman, we can call it whatever. It is that boundlessness, it is only when you touch that boundlessness, you have a taste of freedom.